And so it loads. From here on, we enter Sector 8 in Faster Than Light on my Kestrel Cruiser, my second try at this. And this time we're going to see what the last stand is like. For those joining me, welcome to the boss battle for Faster Than Light. And I'm David Fuxa. <clears throat> Alright, continue. When I uh, was last in here, we just made to the uh, exit here for Sector 7 of the Slug uh, Nebula. All the rebels you know, pushed me out here, but we're going to go to the last stand. Federation Basin Range. You arrive at the heart of the last Federation fleet. Your access codes get you past the initial security and direct feed to the capital ship's war room. Arrow Tool is first to speak, saying, What is the meaning of this? Who are you? Explain your mission. Your explanation is met with murmurs of cynicism and disbelief. Among the officers, General Terzil of the Ingley Brigade speaks up. Intel suggests potential counter for rebel technology. Risk all or save none. Explain the weakness of the enemy fleet, the rebel flagship. Tuli responds, It's settled. The rebels will be here in a matter of moments. We will do what we can to hold off their warships, but you must succeed in destroying their flagship. We will refuel your ship now, and our stations will help you whenever possible. Good luck. Alright, so we got ourselves 10 fuel there. And this is what the last sector looks like. Destroy the rebel flagship before it gets to in range of the Federation base. If it gets too close, they, there will be no stopping and all will be lost. So engage it quickly. The equation uh, flashing rail will be fully under rebel control after you jump or wait. Repair stations will partially repair, um, partially repair for free. So, basically we've got repair stations, and what they do is they will repair us. But they won't like offer us anything to sell or um, buy or anything like that. This is us right here, and this is the base we're protecting. This over here is the flagship. And I have to defeat this guy before he jumps all the way over here. I don't know how he's going to get over here, but I'm thinking he's either going to go maybe in this direction or this direction. So either way, we're going to jump, say, up to here. My, um, my strategy is going to be very simple. We're going to just rush him. I've got the power to take him out. Let's do it. Do it. You scan the area, find signatures for only a small trade vessel. However, as they approach us, you see a silhouette of a rebel scout. You run the scanners again and discover the registration is fake. You move into attack. Looks like we got ourselves a scout. And this guy is ready to kill us, but I should be able to take him as soon as his cloak expires on me. Or on him. Like the background music? This is what the boss sector is like. And he's gonna fire. And we are gonna fire. Hull laser. His weapons. Whoops, I don't have the hopper beam on, that's why. Oh well, never mind. Uh, Pegasus, you will hit his. I don't know, uh. engines. Burst laser, you'll take out his uh, weapons too. Alright, looks like we did some damage. That should be enough to uh, put a stop to him for a little bit. Power beam, on! I want to keep firing at his uh, things right there. That should put a stop to him being able to fire at me for a bit. But just in case, let's make sure he's off. We will fire down in this direction. Looks like he fired at me. But we died him already, so he's done. The ship explodes, leaving behind a substantial collection of useful scrap material. And we got Pegasus missile again! So equipment, Pegasus, awesome, and uh, let's push on. So it looks like he is going to jump right there, and it looks like the rebels rebels have taken over this uh, this sector right there. So I've got to keep pushing toward him and take him out. And it looks like the rebels are going to take over this sector too soon. Um, let's keep pushing on. I don't need repairs or anything, so we'll save those. You don't have time to worry about the battle in the distance. The fight is coming to you quickly. We got a rebel fighter to fight. With four shields, no, no less. He's got a teleport, so I'm going to have to worry about that happening. But we've got the first strike, so let's do it. Um, burst lasers, we're going to hit after the shields. And hopefully this will be enough to penetrate all over here. 
I'll put this on. Alright, we got some damage on him. Looks like he's attacking me, so we're gonna do this. Okay, you're still firing at that, good. I should actually make sure I turn this off next time. It looks like we got the hits in there, that's what I want. And it looks like we're taking him off. Ooh, he hit me good on the Kokri. You guys go there. And we're gonna do this. Because those will penetrate shields, so it doesn't matter. And it looks like they're getting out of here. We're gonna send these guys over here. I'm going to drop this in over here to have it powered up. Look, he's got my drone control hit there, but that's fine. I can take a hit there. He's filling up his med bay again. There goes my drone control. I'm gonna do a complete fire on this guy. We're gonna take him out. Oh, I hit, think I missed twice there. Nope. All right, we got uh, one of the guys there. Uh, I forgot got my teleporter retort. Let's go out over here and quickly do this. I lost some power in my uh, stuff here. I can't power that up yet. We'll power this up though. These guys are healed, so I guess uh, move them here. Weapons are full, so we'll charge up our hover beam. Sure, why not? Get the hover beam on. And we'll send you guys over to fix up this. Pegasus will fire here. You'll fire here. And we took him out. There's no time to salvage all the wreck. The fleet is sealed nearby. Get ready for a jump. We got 40 scrap from that. So this will help me with upgrades, by the way. So this is what's great about the final sector. You can get your upgrades quick if you get here and survive this long. Uh, you guys are going to go here. And you are going to go here. And you are going to go here. Tactical will go back here. You're the shield guy. You'll go back here. You guys go back over here. You guys will go over here. We're going to start thinking about uh, doing some upgrades, I think. Um, I'm tempted to start getting shields, but I know that engines is probably more important because it'll help my dodge chances. And dodge is really good. So... Power is also important, though, so... Let's get one power. And we're going to jump again. Alright, so... Th this guy's going to be going in this direction, for sure. These uh, two um, are two who are taken by the rebels, so I'm going to be finding elite fires here, but we have no choice if I want to get to them. I have to go through them one way or another. The rebel fleet has found you. A nearby scout turns to engage. You must flee before the cruisers open fire. So I got no choice. I have to fight these guys, but whatever. They will die. Uh, we will fire here. I'm going to take off the med bay for now because I'll need it. I'm going to be teleported in in a moment, but that's fine. Gonna do this. Hopefully, this will be enough uh, firepower going on to um, get his uh, shields down enough. And it looks like it is. So, power beam, you're gonna fire like this. Yes, like that. Alright, we're doing pretty good. I'm gonna keep the Pegasus off for now, and we're gonna put this here. And it looks like I've got these guys over here, so I've gotta deal with them. He's still got more guys on his ship that I can deal with for teleporting to, so. Look at he sent a missile at me. Alright, he's uh, repairing this quite quickly, so we're going to do this again. And this time we're going to make sure these guys take a hit. Ooh, I cooked some uh, damage there. Uh, we're going to need this in a moment for sure. Looks like they teleport back. They're all in the engine room right now. Um, I could probably try and kill him, but it's better just to just blow up the street. But I don't need to scrap that much. These guys are getting hurt, so...
We'll keep firing with the burst lasers right there, I guess. There's no time to salvage the enemy ship. You must jump away before the cruiser is opening and firing. So there's two of one there, but that's fine. Uh, we gotta worry about healing these guys up. I'm not too worried about the cruiser opening fire. It doesn't seem like they ever do. So this will give me time to heal up before they start doing so. I think in the next version or next update, they plan to have it so like the enemy cruisers might do some firing on you, but other than that, they aren't too dangerous. So let's power up. Pegasus. The full power. And we'll jump. Alright, looks like they're jumping here. It's time for the first uh, first fight of them. Let's take them on. This is it. The Rebel Flagship. If you are able to destroy this monstrosity, the Fairy Shame Fleet will have a chance of surviving. There's no turning back. So here's what it looks like. And yes, he cloaks. He's got four shields. He's got huge hull. And he's de um, deadly as, he as hell, if you uh, can believe that. Which I hope you can. I've got to wait for him to decloak before I can fire. But as you can see, he's got lots of weapons. And he's got lots of systems. He's going to take a bean to kill. So there's no uh, doubt this will be a tough fight. Um, first things first, I have to try and cut through his shields. So... Set this here. I'm tempted to go after the weapons because that's really important, but um, at the same time, I know that the weapons aren't the key danger here. But we're going to try taking this out. And hopefully... No, we'll do this, actually. I want to take those shields out. And at the same time, we're going to do this. I'm going to put the guys in teleport here, and I'm going to send these guys over to attack this guy. Alright, looks like uh, that's enough for me to get some hits on the shields and all the other stuff here. So let's go like this. I don't think they ever use the teleport though, so that's kind of a waste. But whatever. Oops, let's uh, make sure I get the... Actually... That looks a lot better, doesn't it? Possibly get the weapon. Now these guys are going to fight this guy and then they'll blow up the weapon. So that's awesome. Um... I'm going to keep myself ready to keep going for now. And I kill him. Oh, we took a hit there. Burst lasers. Okay, we're charged up again. You guys are going to fire there. The Pegasus is going to... Yeah, we'll do it all right there. And I'll do the Howard Beam in the same place again. That killed a guy. That's awesome. And we will do... Like that again. Awesome. Looks like uh, Yo's over here took a bit of damage when he f fought that guy, but they've almost destroyed that weapon. Once that weapon's down, it won't be able to fire at me, which is awesome. And looks like this is back if I want to get them back. They're still over there, by the way, fighting because, you know, they fight. And I can actually see where all the systems are like. Um, I have to call these guys back though. But before I go... Actually no, there's nothing about this. I have to get these guys back because um, they have to uh, get off the ship before I blow it up. If you blow up a ship with your guys on it, they will, I think, die. I'm pretty sure they will die. I'm not sure, but I'm pretty sure. Hit the shield. Just as you finally gain the upper hand, it finds a way to make an FTL jump. In its new state, it will have to get much closer to the base to be able to fret. You've bought some time, but you've got to keep up the assault. I got some scraps and drone parts and missiles for all that. So, he hurt me quite a bit, but I was stronger and I beat him up as, as I already knew I would. Um, I got watched though, because he's going to be a lot tougher next time around. I didn't really kill all of his crew other than that one guy, sadly, so... That'll be a bit of a problem. Um... We'll leave this all on, I guess. And I'll probably do the same strategy as before, in terms of killing him. Get the auction back on. Get these guys back to the teleporter. 
All right. So apparently he's gonna go here, I guess. Which is, I guess, sort of fine. But I'm actually really thinking about uh, backtracking gets repairs. But we'll we'll try beating him up again. We chase down the flagship and discover it heavily damaged from the previous fight. Scans indicate that his retard can conserve power to his drones. Get ready for a fight. So it's going to be him with his drones this time around. And it's going to really hurt. But whatever. He's got no click cloaking system this time around. So we're going to hit him again where it hurts in his shields. Actually, you know what? We're going to fire off the missiles. Looks like I got missed, but whatever. Hopefully the next one won't. Okay, too much misses there. I can't uh, do much to him. I've got to teleport some guys back over here. Or maybe it was here. I want to get the missiles, I think, this time. My shield seems to be good enough to somewhat block the beam, so I'll just bet on that. Ooh, we got a combat drone coming at us. I didn't notice that. Um, it's kind of dangerous, but I'm going to have... I'm gonna have to let my uh, token get destroyed. I'll have to let that happen. These guys left to wait until I um, get to do something to this guy. Okay, this is on. Uh, combat! Awesome, they got combat for all that. All right, we're gonna do this one once again. Looks, this is what's happening. He's actually shooting down my missiles. I've gotta focus on a new strategy then. I won't be able to penetrate him until I get rid of his drone control, and that's not happening until um, I handle his weapons and such. So, I can try this again, I guess, trying to hit his uh, shields. If I get him down far enough, I can halberd beam. Or I can wait, and I think that's what I'll do, because it takes a while to charge up the burst lasers slightly. He blew up that already, so I've got to deal with that. Um, we're going to send these guys over here to repair it. Power surge detected, you're gonna see what power surge is. It's not friendly. Not friendly at all. Wow, we took a lot of hits there. Um, I should have close these doors. But I've got this hit down, and this guy's coming in, so that's a bit troublesome for me. Let's send them all over there. It looks like they slowly destroyed this weapon, so that's one less thing to worry about. Here's the power surge. This is what happens. You get all these drones attacking at once. This is where cloaking is good. You can use these to protect uh, clo uh, drones to protect you as these guys attack you. Uh, but I don't have that, so I've got to deal with all these guys attacking me at once, and it's going to suck, and it's going to hurt. Um, but that's that. Let's think about how I'm going to deal with these guys here. Let's hit his shields with the lasers. This time I got enough damage on him to do some considerably more damage to him. So just do... That's not enough. Uh, you know, screw it, we're just gonna hit him like this. I don't know he's don't got teleports, but that's just fine. I'll deal with it. Alright, I'm taking considerable damage from this guy, but... Um, this is basically what the boss fight's like, you know, it's tough. And engines are being hit quite hard. I've got to think about doing an FTL jump too to get away from this, I think. I've got full shields, but I'm taking lots of damage from everything else. Um, they destroyed this though. i got to repair the cloaking system too eventually. It sucks to leave them there, especially after they destroy the missiles, but I've got to think about possibly leaving them behind, which is suck, but it might actually screw me over I do. Um... Okay, we're going to try and hit his drone control down, I think, because these drones are really hurting me. Damn it, he, he missed, they missed too much. Um, the combat drones are fighting my NG, which sucks. We're going to have uh, both these guys repair the cloaking, I guess, at this point. I've got to think about uh, venting this area, I guess, sadly before fire spread, so... 
just get rid of that fire, I'll have to do that. Here comes the power surge, which sucks. That was critical. Um, these guys are taking too much damage repairing this. So I've got to quickly move them here. The engineer is taking too much damage too. He's got to move here. Actually, move him here. I got full power again, so... Let's fire here. And I'm going to redirect power here. You guys are going to come back. You are going to go here. This is slowly getting devented, hopefully. Um, okay, that's enough power to uh, do some damage. Hopefully this will distract them a little bit from uh, hurting me anymore. Uh, get this right. I'll do some damage on him. Hopefully that hurts some drones of his a little bit. Um, the fires are slowly going out, that's great. Use is fine. So, sort of. Um, I'm really tempted to do this and send both the engine NGs over here. And then send them both in here. I'll keep them from dying until I uh, possibly do some more damage to this guy. Um, but just in case, we're going to start healing him just to get their HP back up. Uh, the combat drone that is in here is dead. So you guys are going to go in here. You guys are going to go in here because they're a little bit more healthy. Actually, we're going to send the engineer... No, I have to rely on him not dying. Hopefully he won't. Um, actually, no, you've almost fixed this. Just fi fixing that. You guys... Um, stay here. And... Hopefully this will uh, hurt him good. I gotta hopefully take down his shields a little bit. That's a power surge again. That'll her suck, but... I've got to uh, hope that this hurts him quite a bit. I've taken a lot of damage in this fight, but I want to try beating him up a second time, if possible. I've got this already vented, so let's close the doors, get some oxygen circling back in there. And this is a good time to turn this off and this on for the moment. Just until I get my you know, HP back up and all that. Ah, uh, this guy stopped fixing that. That sucks. Um, look, you guys both go in there and fix that. Here comes the power surge. This is going to suck. Come on, I want to see the misses. This is where my engines peg off, because I'll miss. But my evasion's been hurt quite a bit. And my O2 is actually uh, not... Uh, in a good state. I've got all my guys get hurting real bad now. Um, cargo off here and both in here. This guy is uh, out of air. He desperately needs to get out of that room. Oh, I got destroyed. Never mind. So, if that was a boss fight. I saw they got blown up. But as you see, it has multiple forms. One last explosion marks just phase of ship. Score 4143, new high stats. So this is Trekstar, it made it to Sector 8. Um, most ships of field was 36, Beacon Explorer was 96. Most scrap collected was 1635, most crew hire was 8. Um, I had the most crew repairs to Slayer on the last ship, but most combat kills was Kuzi, the uh, Mantis. Most piling evasions was the Helmsman. Uh, Jump Survive was the Helmsman. Most skills masteries was Slayer from last time, but that's fine. Um, Slayer is awesome. And uh, that was pretty awesome for at least a run.
Shift's best, uh, must be, you know, does his best shift for here. Achievements, we got a couple new. So let's hear. No red shirts here. Get to uh, Sector 8 without losing a crew member. I didn't have a single crew member die. Federation base in range. Get to Sector 8. Unlock to normal. And I already did this one, but... Use the weapon pre igniter automation to destroy an enemy ship in one volley before the enemy can even get a shot off. So I completely blew, blew that guy off in, like, you know, one shot and killed him. And then Sector 5's over here. Alright, so, uh... That's basically it for this fight. I might uh, do better next time, we'll see. Hope you enjoyed.